Well, we've been talking about Sebastian Rogers now for a month. Over the weekend, another Sebastian has gone missing. This was posted yesterday at 11 a.m. by Bonnie Wheeler Marquez. Missing Sebastian Reich, eight years old, four foot six inches tall, 70 pounds. Eastern District missing runaway child. Sebastian Wright was last seen April 12th at approximately 7.30 p.m. in the 220 block of Homewood Avenue. He is wearing unknown clothing. In other words, uh, they don't have a good description of what he was wearing. If you know the whereabouts of Sebastian Wright, please call 911 or contact Baltimore City Police Department Missing Persons Unit at 443-984-7385 or 410-396-2433. And this post I'll leave you a link to. Um, I actually found this information on Facebook of all places. So I actually went looking for information on Sebastian Wright, this eight-year-old who is believed to be a runaway without a good description of what he's wearing. And I couldn't find anything, nothing on any of the four major news outlets. So I started drilling down to see if I could find anything published anywhere and I found this on Twitter this morning when I went searching it's a tweet from Baltimore City Police and it's an unmonitored um, Twitter account so uh, do they do updates I don't know do they they obviously don't answer people's questions so I didn't post anything by way of inquiry and I think this is very sad it appears at least from our expectations of the kind of coverage that missing children should get this child got nothing in the newspaper that I could find now I'm not from Baltimore so uh, you know, what the names of the news let outlets are in Baltimore, I don't know. However, as you would expect me to, I will be poking around until I get some answers. I think it's, um, I think it's important for somebody to take up for these missing children and spread their information however little there is. So, here is his picture. He also appears on the Milk Carton Project. And I'll talk about that for a second. So, the Milk Carton Project is exactly what it appears to be. A graphic that represents a modern milk carton. And it is a template for missing person's identifying information. It's straightforward and simple, and it is based largely on, in, on the platforms Facebook and Twitter. They do have a WordPress site, but they haven't done anything with it. There's not even a logo or anything. It's just blank. I'll be getting in touch with the person behind this account on Twitter and bringing you more information here in this next week or so. I think that this is an awesome project. It's, like I said, simple and straightforward and gets the point across. And this was something that Nana's Angels and I talked about a lot. I We talked about it in person, you know, one-to-one. -one. We also talked about it on the channel a whole lot and I think that 
um, if Nana could have left a legacy if she knew that she would not be able to continue her own work. And you asked her, what lasting impression would you like to leave? I'm 99.99% .99 sure Nana would tell you that she wanted missing children's, missing persons information on every Mountain Dew bottle across the country. And if it couldn't be on Mountain Dew, she would take Doritos. She didn't care. Uh, so, to honor my friend, if things are what they appear to be with this project, I will be um, featuring missing people from that project to honor Nana. That's all I have for you at this time. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope your week is going well. God bless you. And I hope to see you real soon.